So hi everyone and welcome to this video on solving a very simple finite horizon dynamic programming problem. So we're going to go through this problem up until deriving the first order conditions and apply the envelope theorem and the benveniste shankman equation. So um, we're going to go through it pretty slow and uh, we're going to try and see the intricacies of each step and the derivations along the way. So here we have a problem of maximizing uh, utility over a finite horizon. So um, if you notice, it goes from t is equal to zero until capital T. So it's a finite horizon model. And uh, we have here uh, a discount rate, which is beta, and uh, that discounts lifetime utility, which is given by u, right? And u, of course, is a function of some consumption level, right? And it's subject to uh, a resource constraint, which is given as below. So uh, you have the resource constraint uh, CT. Uh, this is actually CT, not uh, CT plus one. So just CT uh, plus KT plus one is equal to FKT plus one minus delta KT. Okay. So uh, in, in order to solve this dynamic programming problem, we're going to try to do a couple of steps, right? So first we form the so-called Bellman equation and we try to plug in our constraint if that's feasible. For this simple problem, it is feasible. Then we apply envelope theorem and then we set up the Van Veniste Schenkman equation. So um, let's start. Okay, so uh, step one. Okay, so let's go step one, uh, forming Bellman equation. Okay, forming Bellman equation. So uh, we have, okay, so we're just going to form the Bellman equation. The Bellman equation is a value function, that's v of kt, is our goal is to maximize, okay, maximize, okay, uh, utility. So that's u of ct plus beta times v of the next period. So if we're basing it on kt, we go one period ahead, that's kt plus one. Kt plus one, okay, and this is subject to uh, our resource constraint, which is Ct plus Kt plus one is equal to our production function Fkt plus undepreciated capital, okay, and K naught is given, right. So one thing we can do is, if you notice, we have um, we have uh, Ct here right, CT is here, and we also have it inside of the utility function. So we can effectively plug in the constraint inside of the objective function so that we can just have one thing. So that means that we can reduce this to um, V KT is equal to max. Okay, so uh, if we're going to rearrange CT, CT is going to be equal to the production function FKT, uh, plus one minus delta kt minus kt plus one because we're transposing this to the other side of the equation, right? So we're going to maximize u of f kt. Oops, it's not a differential equation. Plus one minus delta kt minus kt plus one plus beta v kt plus one, right? So we have that one. Okay, so that's the first step, uh, generally form the Bellman. And after we form the Bellman, let's derive. Okay, so let me do another color now. We're gonna derive the first order necessary condition. Uh, so for this example, let's just try with respect to kt plus one. Okay, so if we derive this one, kt, with respect to kt plus one, okay, we're gonna get, um, we're going to be able to get uh, here. So we have a kt plus one here, so, but we have a chain rule, right? So we need to derive this whole function before we derive the derivative with respect to kt plus one inside. So that's uh, u. The thing inside we know is just ct, right? So that's u prime ct times the derivative of the inside of the function, uh, which is ct with respect to kt plus one. So that's minus one, okay? That's minus one. 
plus, okay, we have another term here on the other side, and we get uh, beta v prime uh, kt plus one, right? So we have that one there. And this is equal to zero because it's a first order necessary condition. So if we rearrange this, we find that our first order necessary condition is equal to u prime ct is equal to beta v prime kt plus one. Okay, so this is our FONC, uh, our Euler equation, if you like to call it. And we're gonna sort of use that uh, in, a, in another, uh, in a succeeding step when we apply Benveni's to Schenkman theorem. So uh, let, let's go to step two. Okay, so let's now go, let me now say use orange. I'm using different colors to set things apart. So step two, okay, step two. Um, uh, we're gonna apply envelope theorem, envelope theorem. So uh, in order to apply envelope theorem, we derive, okay, K, uh, KT. Uh, with respect to, with respect to uh, Kate, uh, with re, sorry, we, re, we derive our value function, which is the Bellman equation, with respect to KT, right? So to do that, okay, so we have our Bellman equation there. So this is going to be equal to um, U prime, right? Uh, this entire thing, because we have a couple of KT terms inside. So we have U prime CT. Uh, then uh, we also have to derive the things inside. So we have your f of kt. Well, if we derive that with respect to kt, we get f prime kt. We have here a plus one minus delta kt. If we derive that with respect to kt, we get plus one minus delta. So that kt drops out, right? And we have a kt plus one there. So let's just do minus the derivative of kt plus one with respect to kt. So we have that one there. Then our second term plus beta times the derivative of that. So that's V prime KT plus one times, because chain rule KT plus one is inside, we do derivative KT plus one with respect to KT, okay? So moving forward, um, we have here, we can distribute the U prime CT. So U prime CT f prime kt plus u prime ct times one minus delta uh, minus u prime ct dkt plus one over dkt plus beta v kt plus one times dkt plus one over dkt. So we can see here two of these terms and then we have a couple of these uct. So let's try to factor based on that. So we get u prime ct times f prime kt plus one minus delta uh, plus dkt plus one over dkt times uh, beta v prime kt plus one minus u prime ct. Now there's something interesting particularly with the second term that you might have noticed already. So if you notice this thing here inside Okay, beta v prime kt plus one minus u prime ct. We've seen this, and that's basically this one, right? And we know that the sum of these two, at least if I transpose this to the other side, is equal to zero. So this entire thing here is equal to zero via what we found in our first order necessary condition. So this entire derivative, this um, this uh, derivative, which is a uh, v prime kt, okay, v prime kt, that's just going to be equal to uh, u prime ct, right, because th that's equal to zero, times f prime kt plus one minus delta, right, and that's all we have for that, okay, so that's what we have for our value function. And that completes step two. Step three is uh, somewhat simpler. So let's use, um, uh, let's use another color, say this green. So step three. So we're going to apply, okay, apply Ben Venistas Schenkman theorem. Schenkman theorem. 
Uh, and all that the, uh, it's going to say is we need to try and solve this problem. So we want to plug in a value of V prime KT plus one. We know V prime KT, so we can move up a period, right? By Van Venista Schenkman theorem. So um, we get uh, by moving up a period, moving up one period. Okay, so we move up one period, we get V prime KT plus one is equal to U prime CT plus one times F prime KT plus one. So notice I'm just adding a plus one because we're moving the derivative up a period uh, plus one minus delta. There's no plus one there because uh, that's a constant, right? So moving that up and then we plug this into our F O and C. And we, we plug that in our F O and C, which is this one. So we know that U prime CT is equal to beta V uh, prime KT plus one. Now we know what V prime KT plus one is. So we know that U prime CT is equal to U prime CT plus one, uh, U prime CT plus one times beta, right? That I forgot that beta uh, times uh, F prime KT plus one, plus one minus delta, right? And this is our uh, derived equation in the end. So this is our, oops, this is our first order necessary condition evaluated at our V prime KT plus one. So that's how to solve, or at least derive a couple of the conditions of this simple dynamic programming problem. So thank you very much for your attention and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.